One week later, Ms. Dewan has still not had his operation. Saeed goes in to find out why. He is told Ms. Dewan will be sent to a bigger hospital in another city. But because the patient has very complex problems, we cannot operate here. If patients only have broken arms or legs or other broken bones, then we can handle it here easily. But if the patient suffers from cerebral concussion, which can cause blood in the brain to congeal, we cannot do much here because we still don't have a neurosurgeon here. His treatment will be paid for by AMM, Aceh Monitoring Mission. One week after we filmed, Ms. Dewan was sent to Medan, a city 274 kilometers from Banda Aceh, to get specialist treatment. Ms. Dewan is employed by the Aceh Monitoring Mission, which is funded by the European Union. His friends say it's almost certain that this is why he got this fast-track treatment. Two years after the tsunami, Saeed Usman, like almost everyone in Aceh, finds solace in his religion. I just have to see it in a religious perspective. Personally, I approach this religiously. If not, everyone would go crazy after this tsunami. There was a prediction that mental hospitals would be full after the tsunami, but no, that wasn't the case at all. This tsunami didn't only happen to me, but to everyone. If this tragedy happened only to my family, I may not have been able to handle it. Recently, Saeed's life has taken a turn for the better. He has remarried and hopes to have children again. But he says he thinks of the family he lost all the time and after Ramadan is going to Mecca to pray for them. Saeed juggles many jobs, head of training and information at the Zainu El Abedin Hospital, dean of the public health faculty at Sarambi Mecca University, a founding member of the Aceh Health Programme, secretary of a nurses' union, and is a nurse in two company clinics. Saeed is without doubt a workaholic, but in Aceh it's normal for a public servant to have several jobs. Few can survive on an official salary alone. Despite the $4.8 billion in aid, wages in the public sector have not risen. Doctors and nurses are forced to supplement their incomes. Dr. Gerard Save is told that the specialists in Zain Noel Abedin Hospital are often nowhere to be seen during opening hours. That day, however, he manages to find one doctor in the outpatient's clinic. He questions him about the chronic absenteeism. No, it's not true. During our working hours, we are here. And outside the working hours, there is always a doctor on call. It's a wrong opinion, because doctors are here during working hours. And outside these hours, we are on call. On call? So, when we are called, we come, and we also do operations outside working hours, in emergency cases. Do you have a private practice? What? A private practice? Yes. All doctors in Banda Aceh have private practices and their waiting rooms are packed. The hospital manager, Dr. Roos, a cardiologist, is no exception. He consults in his private practice every day after he is finished at the hospital. He admits he is powerless to curb the absenteeism of the hospital's doctors. The motivation of our staff is very low. I know that. Their work is not only in hospital. After that, they go to another hospital. They go to other clinics. For what? For money. Because the salary is not enough. Are you talking about the doctors or the nurses? All staff. Yes, all staff. 
just maybe uh, fortunately for the doctor they have the license to practice in private practice for in afternoon but for nurse it's not all nurse can private have the private practice Zainuel Abedin is a public hospital and the staff have civil servant status some nurses earn as little as hundred and ten dollars a month Saeed tells us that even before the tsunami this was not enough to survive on but now it's even worse the presence of so many foreigners spending hard currency has inflated local prices in some areas such as housing by up to 50 percent Eli Wardani a former student of Saeed is training to become a nurse in Zainuel Abedin. She will graduate in six months, but she isn't sure she wants to practice nursing here. Here? Mm. No. Mm. No, yeah. Even myself, if I could say I'm not willing to work here in this hospital, I prefer to uh, work as a nurse educator because there are four roles of nurses and one of those is um, educator. So I prefer to be to become a nurse educator, just like Mr. Said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Said believes that more financial rewards from the authorities would help restore morale. 